Today we're gonna to make a pork ramen noodle broth or noodle soup. Very, very healthy, great fun to make. So you're gonna need two liters of broth, uh, whether it's chicken or turkey broth, you decide. This, uh, like I said, is from our turkey that Emily made the other day. Um, you've got a shoulder of pork. Um, if you don't wanna use pork, you can use another meat, but then it's not gonna be called a pork ramen broth, is it? Uh, we've got, um, dark soya sauce, you can use light if you want, but I'd say go for dark. Mirin, if you haven't got mirin, we're gonna use uh, rice vinegar instead, depending on what you've got at home. So this is the chili sauce that we're gonna use, whatever hot and fiery chili sauce, depending on who wants to eat it. Uh, and then we're gonna put an extra chili on top at the end because we're cooking this for kids as well, so we can't really uh, put too much chili in it. And that's basically it. Olive oil, salt and pepper, celery, uh, carrot, onions, ginger, garlic. Very, very basic. Let's go. You know, after Christmas, everyone's feeling a bit like, because we've eaten all the mince pies and we've eaten everything. And while we're filming this, we're still not at New Year's. So you might be seeing this just after New Year's. If you want something healthy, uh, that kind of still fills you up because you don't want to go from eating all that food to eating nothing. This is a really, really good option to have. And we're gonna do it with noodles, ramen noodles, you can do it with udon noodles, you can do it with whatever you like, but this is how we're gonna do it. First thing we're gonna do is put a bit of olive oil in the rosé here, okay? And we're just gonna make sure the pan's hot first. You don't want it too hot that the oil uh, burns um, because it is olive oil and you don't want it to go bitter. And then you just literally put the pork in with the string on and everything because we need to hold it together. And you do one side, and then the other side. And add some salt. And add some pepper. And we're gonna basically sear it on both sides. So leave it for a couple of minutes. We'll be back when we turn it over. Right. Turn it over. Let it bronze and then we're going to put the, the stock in. So once you bronze it on both sides, put two litres of stock. Be careful because obviously you don't want it splashing everywhere. Right. <laughs> Sounds good, done it, Theo. Does that look good, Theo? What are we getting? It's going to be called pork ramen noodle soup broth. Good, right? Thumbs up? It's for dinner. It's for dinner. Thumbs up? Good man. Right, so this is how simple it is now. You put the stock in. With, with the veggies, you don't have to chop them up, so it's, it's very good. You can just throw the ginger in, one celery stick, but we've cut it in three. Uh, you just throw the carrot in. You throw the onions in, you don't even have to peel them. And I'll tell you why, because we are gonna uh, strain it at the end. Um, garlic, you don't need to and need to peel it for the ginger. So that's how easy that is. And then you've got three key ingredients here. One is your mirin or your um, or your rice vinegar, which is what we're gonna do. This is two tablespoons. So just one, two. So you would do three tablespoons of normal soy sauce, but this is dark soy sauce, so just two of those. So we're using sriracha hot fiery chili sauce. You can put two, but I'm only gonna put one because of the, of the children. So that is it, basically. You now seal this and put it in the oven at 150 for about four, four and a half hours. Um, we'll see you then. That's how simple it is. Show off with your gloves. See you in four hours. It's been a little over four hours. I'm a bit frazzled because the kids have been running around like mad, but we're gonna take this out and we are gonna go to the next stage. My lovely wife bought me this for Christmas. Be very careful when you're taking things out of the oven. Now, so, oh my. Absolute yes. So the first thing we're gonna do is take the pork out. We're gonna get rid of that layer of fat on top. 
and put it on my new chopping board that Emily got me, which is perfect for that. And then what we have to do is get rid of, this is why I said to you before, you don't have to peel the vegetables because now what we're gonna do is we're gonna, obviously be careful when you do this. Gonna get, just gonna, make sure the vegetables go in there. So you sieve it through so your vegetables are on top. Obviously don't throw away your vegetables because they are perfect to eat. But we don't need them right now. You should be left with those vegetables. I don't recommend you throw them away. Maybe the, the skin off the onion, but mate, those carrots, celery, fantastic. And the flavor that will be on them will be brilliant. But for now, we're gonna put it aside. Now, what you should have all your juices there. So take the uh, string now and take the layer of fat off. We don't need that. It's great to cook it in it, but you don't really want to eat that. It just falls off. Beautiful. We'll just leave that on the side, but you see beautiful just falls off. So pull the string off. Okay, so once you've taken all that off, leave it on the side. Now, using two forks, you should just be able to pull the pull. Oh, mate, it literally just falls off. So I was going a bit hard on it, but you just pull it, gently separate it. I mean, it, it, it smells fantastic. And look at that, guys. Absolutely wonderful. Now, obviously, you are going to put it back in and you're gonna put it on a low heat. So if you feel that you, you can't cook it for four hours, you can cook it for three and a half, but let me tell you, it is worth it. It's worth that time. So I've removed all the fat that is lean pour right there. You simply pour this back in. Put the pork in, and you put it on a low heat. So, so we put loads of pork in, but that's because that's the only size we could get. <laughs> but uh, you know, you don't have to put that much in. This is about a kilo. We put about 1.6 kilos. That goes on on a low heat. You simmer. I'd say probably on the electric hob, I'm going to go for five. And that's it. Right, so just to show you what I've done, while this is being kept warm, you put it on a medium heat, and you can keep it like that for a while. I would clean up, I cleaned up every, you know, made sure that all the dishes are done so I don't have all of that to think about afterwards. And I got a frying pan, a little bit of olive oil, put your leeks in, that's gonna take about five minutes. Have your water boiling, ready to put your ramen noodles in. I'm gonna put whole wheat noodles in, um, and you only need to put them in for about five minutes. So I put two of those in for me and M's the kids will probably have udon noodles. Yeah, and the eggs go on. And all that should be done in five minutes. And you can boil your eggs however you want, but this is a lovely little thing here Emily bought me, which boils your eggs perfectly, so I'm gonna use that. So that's it, I'll see you in five minutes. Right, so a couple of minutes have gone by. The leeks are doing well just before the end, uh, about five minutes once you've bronzed them up. Put your spinach in just so it can wilt. This is still being kept on a medium heat. The noodles are nearly done, the eggs are nearly done, and we are gonna be ready to serve. That is how easy it is. It seems complicated, but actually if you prep it, which I've never normally been good at doing, um, it's actually quite easy to make. Oh my gosh, that smell is amazing. Right, so you don't even have to have it at five, you can have it even lower, because it's just basically to keep it warm. There. Honestly, one day, when we get smell of vision you'll understand. Now, I'm not a chef. Now, I'm not a chef. I do love cooking. But I have to say that one thing that I know I'm good at is not necessarily cooking, but it's I don't stress in the kitchen. I'm chilled. 
I mean, I guess if you, you know, you want to serve everybody, you kind of want to make sure it's right. And I know the kids are itching to eat now, but I'm pretty chilled in the kitchen. Normally, again, I would have loads of music playing, but because we're filming this, I can't have music in the background. So please put on whatever you like, get a glass of wine if you want, or a beer if, if you feel like that, or a soft drink or whatever you want, and just listen to music and let this all happen. Right, so start mixing it around. It should start to a little bit wilt now. I've just drained the noodles, so that should be fine. I can't believe that. I cooked the whole thing, had the lid off, and when it's finished, I'm putting it on. Should have been the other way around. There we go. Nearly done, nearly done. Eggs should be done any second. Right, that should be fine. Put that on the side. That's ready. They're ready. So what we're gonna do, There's apparently an art to this. Come back when the eggs are done. I almost timed it perfectly, but there's still a minute or two to go. But that's okay, these are just these are just settling. So, while lovely Emily, thanks for helping me, is doing the eggs, peeling the eggs, you're gonna put noodles, just the broth without the meat, just like that. You're then going to get some of the pork. Use a late, this time use one with holes down the bottom because you don't want too much more of the juice. Maybe put that on the side like that. There's plenty of pork here, so you can put as much as you want or as little as you want. You're then going to put some spring onions on the side. Carrots. Kids, food's ready in a second. Some of this. I mean, it looks amazing. A little bit of crushed chili. And a little bit of sesame seed. Is the I see burning my fingers. <laughs> oh, go on, do it. Go Sorry, on. say it again, say it again. So that is everything. And I'm just gonna grab one of these eggs. Peel one of these eggs, and that should be it. So if you if your eggs are done slightly early, you can peel them and have them ready. Look at that guys. Perfect. And that right there is a pork ramen noodle broth. Amazing. Now, all you have to do is enjoy it. Happy New Year, guys. Hopefully you liked what we showed you tonight. Please click and subscribe. Um, and thank you very, very much for always being part of our life.